Welcome back to Polybridge. I'm again trying to beat every level under half budget. And a good way to do that is to not use hydraulics, even though this is the hydraulic world. But here, I'll make a nice arch bridge over the plane. And I would love to do that on the right side too. However, these roads are locked in. So I guess I do need to do a little hydraulicking. So it looks like the monster truck has to go across. And while it's waiting on the other side, I would have the hydraulic phase happen. The boat or whatever would come through. Then the hydraulic would bring the bridge back down and then we'd go back right to left. But building this bridge looks pretty easy. You just do an overarch. The taller, the better. This one is much less easy because of the hydraulics. So as much as I'd like just want to do a single split joint here and pull these three roads up, then you have to realize these five roads would just be floating there by themselves. So maybe I need some sort of advanced overstructure here to help keep it in place. And then this tiny bridge underneath could just operate independent of the above arch. So that means I probably just gotta pull it up. I'm not gonna calculate it right now. I'm just not in mood. I want to just get it under budget so for starters at least everything stands but for how long that right side of the bridge is gonna be a lot more testy it almost made it though oh that broke you know that goes under mm, tension but i think it'll be under compression later actually let me just try it with rope and save like five dollars elsewhere if that's the only part that breaks then i think i might have a good bridge yeah okay it pulls up just fine in fact it pulls over too well oh it's a fan boat well, clicking back down, everything seems good. I do admit, though, I feel like I should shave at least a little bit. I think I'm top 13%. How embarrassing. So first off, there is one thing I'm curious about. Maybe I could have it work without the stabilizer. Now, if I were to do that, this part of the bridge will actually be under tension on the top. Though early on, it'll be under compression. So I'm like, not quite sure when that's going to change. But for now, yeah, now you can see the rope tearing. So I'll replace it with a cable and hope that's enough. Come on, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna make all these ropes on top just for better tension abilities. And now the right side's having issues. Well, this is also under tension. So that could be fixed. Now that's a lot of rope on my bridge here. Let me try something where I just raise these higher. That might make the difference. It don't. Okay, this is pretty much just gonna have every material now. It actually does. It's got rope, it's got cable, it's got steel. But you know, it. Oh, it doesn't connect back. Well, that's definitely an issue. And it's because this part sags a little bit. So if I want it to sag less, maybe I just got to have the connection point be different. Possibly here instead. It may sag less. Hopefully it holds. It does hold. It hydraulics fine. It clicks. There we go. A few thousand off. Only 81% stress. So that probably means making hydraulics shorter. It also means lowering like the left side a lot. Now, the left side being lowered doesn't make a difference. Does the hydraulic still work? It does. I think it can be even shorter then. How about I make both the hydraulic and the steel shorter? Just got to be careful that it still passes the boat. It looks like there's a little room left. That's 99% stress, but I think I just optimized the right side. Does this road still work if there is an under support here? Just a nice, simple wall brace. It almost does. What broke? That? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, maybe you could become rope. It's still cheaper, and it works. I don't know how to feel about the whole thing, though. It's less stress, too. Do I screw the right side if I just try to lower the ropes? I don't, actually. Good. People only got it for five and a half thousand cheaper, huh? This is the bridge I feel okay with. Replaced a couple ropes with wood. Sort shortened some stuff. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's 40th place. Can't be mad about that. Now, this looks like a level where you should definitely avoid using hydraulics. I can start by sneaking my way over the boat, clipping like the very top of that star, and then just doing the opposite. Does this have good horsepower? It does, so it should handle this hill fine. Either way, I think I just need a little mix of over and under supports. I'll see if I can get away with under supports here, but it definitely seems sketch. And I don't know what I want in the middle, but I guess a wood muscle is always a good place to start. I could then branch off the muscle with under supports, and then I guess it doesn't actually have to become a perfect muscle. In the middle could be a muscle. Let's try mirroring it, see if it has any hope. It is under half budget, so I think it has a decent chance. Oh man, wood isn't that good. Oh, it's still going. Nah, never mind. Yeah, well, yeah, wood has its limits. Since it is just the compression wood, I could try making it a road. 
I think there's a lot of merit with this design. It just needs to, yeah, find its perfect balance. It's so close. So if that's what broke, I could make it a road. I also wonder if this specific piece actually needed to mirror the other being a road. Because, I mean, there are different forces between right and left. And that is all that's needed. 20,000. 33rd place. What's more interesting is that I'm only like 2,000 off of first place. And 1,700 off the second. Hold on. Let's start by looking at what's stressed. Left side's pretty stressed. The middle left? That's not that stressed. I mean, the road's pretty bad. It only flashes yellow. Top arch is stressed. I'm just saying, it looks like to me that damn near everything can be cheaper. Well, one thing at a time is I make the left side under supports way cheaper, though it did require a road. Puts me in top 30. Let's see what happens if I take it and mirror it on over to the right side. That side already needed a road, but yet it still works. 20th place. Oh, this is nice. I just feel like a total reworking of the middle needs to be done. It just feels like I'm using too many wood pieces. Because, you know, all I need are three wood pieces to connect from here to this joint. But this design here has some interesting merits. They also have some questionable ones. Let's find out which prevails. Oh, it's so close! The road is what breaks. You know what, then? I'll just lower this. It's just got to make up for the trash in the middle, and it's all good. Oh, you broke now. Okay. Go back to the old road. It's the middle's fault. We all know this to be true. Figure if I take the inner woods, lean them in a bit more, that actually support the middle better. So there we go. Top 10. Oh, we can keep going. This calls for another test of what gets stressed. Left side's looking pretty bad. Middle. Ugh, everything gets pretty stressed at some point. I just wonder if the roads can be tweaked somehow. Does that mean raising up the roads in the middle? Let's find out. Oh, that works beautifully, actually. It's more rigid, too. Can I raise this wood piece? Is it a touch cheaper, but hopefully that doesn't screw the whole bridge? It don't. Puts me in ninth place, screwing my max stress. Oh, boy. Does it make any sense to, like, raise up the road? It's a little bump in the middle, but it does work. Oh, eighth place. With a large jump to seventh. Would there be any merit to like shifting up how the sides work? Say if I get rid of that and then bring this in tighter, maybe I could get away with the cheaper over. I mean, that could be pretty helpful. Oh yeah, maybe. What if then I even go to more overs? I mean, that's dangerously expensive. Surprisingly not that stressed. Actually, it's just better. I didn't save much money, but I bet I could save more. 100 micro tweaks later, this is about the cheapest I can get the bridge. Damn shame I couldn't really get that top one, but it's still a thousand away. It's a cool eighth place though. So the boats come and then hydraulics will come and put the bridge into place and then I can drive over it. So I would have two vertical roads like this that need to be put into place. And then the hydraulic would attach to like here. It needs to expand. 50%. So I'm gonna anchor down this hydraulic. Some nice steel. Do the same on the other side. And I'll do a simple under support. I mean, it holds up now. Letting the very cool sailboats through. However, how does it work after it clicks? Yeah, did it even click? Oh, probably because there's no split joints. Yeah, that should have split joints, huh? This did lower pretty cleanly, so if it clicks, I think we just got a good bridge. Uh, not a good budget bridge, though. But it is a good bridge, nonetheless. Uh, how do I shave, like, $3,500? Well, one thing is I can lower this wood. Another thing is maybe I could, like, replace the steels with wood? The main thing I am worried about is the steels. Oh, but I shouldn't have to be worried. That holds up beautifully. Alright, much easier to do now. $1,700 to go. So the next thing I could do is probably a shorter hydraulic. Because let's see, that takes up $6,000 of my bridge cost. This point is moved in here. Then it would only need to rotate how far? It would need to move 1.5 meters. So a 3 meter hydraulic would get the job done. Expand it. Attach these points. And let's try this. Ooh, I mean, it's a lot cheaper if it works. I mean, the issue again is the bridge is a lot less stable. Hydraulics are just tugging to keep it up. It's only got a couple hundred to go. I think this means I would dare to shorten it even further. I mean, this is still cheaper if I just artificially double anchor it. 
It doesn't split. It does hold for now. Yeah, that's what I was worried was gonna happen. It broke in the wood anchor. I could replace three woods with the steel. As long as the hydraulics double anchored, it's safe, but it's a very low bridge. Oh, it supports well. Okay, nice. I think I'm content with half budget here. So, we finally have the hydraulic controller and three-way split joints. My farmer truck goes, then I have a hydraulic phase. Then I have the ferry come, then another hydraulic phase. Then the other farmer truck goes, followed by another hydraulic phase. And then the red farmer truck turns around. I would have a single road here, and then I would have a second road here. Now I think that this is the only joint that's actually touching the boat. I can do a split joint right here. I can also do a split joint right here because this road is just gonna pivot up and down. Let's start with the leftmost bridge. I can always just play it safer and just do a three meter hydraulic. Anyways, this bridge is also very easy. Just a very simple hydraulic. The question is, do I like this right side? I guess I can always change it later. Now the question is, does the right, uh, left side bridge hold? That's pretty much the only question. No, it doesn't. Now I bet I could replace this with rope and it may be like 10% better. Is that gonna bring it home though? Ooh, that does make it work actually. Right side clicks. I mean, I expected that to be fine. All right, left side works with some rope as long as it supports the truck, I'm happy. Maybe it's easy enough to just triangle it. All right, sturdier triangle does mean less stress and I think that's just an easy win. All right, hydraulic levels, looking good at half budget. Another hydraulic controller level called check your staging. Oh, unfortunately the pirate ship does overlap with two of these joints. I've got to pull a lot out of the way then. I feel like I could do a split joint here then and just pull up two roads in each direction. Easy enough. No way it supports though. It's supported. Wait, maybe there's a chance then. Maybe there's a chance. Because I think the red car is easier to hold than the uh, van. Yeah, maybe I can shave off two and a half thousand dollars. I wonder if it would work actually if it were a one hydraulic mechanism. So like, I'll just get rid of this and I'll change the split joint to be right here. Then I can shift all these over. Chances are it doesn't work. Yeah, so that breaks. Let me try a steel since a lot more uh, supports needed on the left side. It holds, does the hydraulic hold? No, it has its own issues. All right, I'll try a steel. The only other thing I can do is like move this arch up and then maximum length hydraulic. So the higher hydraulic means it has a slightly better angle to pull the bridge up. And actually, that does do it without breaking. Oh, except I think this split joint's gonna detach. Yep, I forgot to check my staging. All right, get out of here, stop working. Now, the sad thing is I still have $800 to go, but $800 is a lot more reasonable than uh, 2,500. What if I lower this joint? Does that still work? It does, and you can see it actually over tugs. So maybe I can actually get away with a shorter hydraulic like this. So what that would look like is moving it this way. Shorten it further, come on. Yes. I mean, there's plenty of room to work with too. It doesn't have to be a perfect 90 degree. Oh, and there's no problem after it clicks. Okay, I think it's just all about shortening hydraulics. I am suddenly way less worried about this. Yep. Ooh, okay, that's really tight. Almost hit the ship. I don't think if I, I can make it any shorter in that direction. How about a radical design shift? I think again, I'm splitting it down the middle and I guess I do under supports just so it doesn't clip the boat. And the idea is I pull it under using a hydraulic here. If I do some sort of attachment like here, it is more expensive, yes. For now? I don't know if that's changing actually. I mean, this is a lot of bridge. Oh, okay, maybe it could be cheaper. So that would take moving these back. Maybe it just needs another steel. Okay, I'm a little over budget now. I can get rid of that steel later. Okay, so when it pulls down, I think it actually dodges the pirate ship. So the next question is, when it comes back up, will it click? Oh, it does. And it holds. Okay, this is a little bit more expensive now, but I think this design has a better chance. So what I got to figure out is how I can just get rid of that steel, because I think that's kind of just everything. Like, I feel like the hydraulic and steel just have to carry on the right side. There we go. It's asymmetrical, but it pulls down further, so it dodges the boat even better. 
Yeah, the bridge gets a little wet, but it comes back up and clicks. And it looks like it's under half budget. Yes. Happy I didn't have to look that one up. 